What's going on guys? It's your boy Keeks, aka Kira, aka God of the Gaming World, and we are back once again on another whirlwind adventure guys this is a new start of a new series this is detroit become human i am a big fan of quantic dream quantic dream is the game developer of of this game here they made games for those who have played those games like heavy rain they made uh beyond two souls those are my two favorite games of of this type of interactive genre that this game kind of promotes here so right now what you guys are seeing i'm changing the controls of course i'm an inverted player so of course i'm making sure that i get that change and updated here you know i'm gonna be feeling weird if it's not but one of the main things that i love about quantic dream and their games is that every one of their games feels like you're in a movie it feels like you're in a movie and it, like almost everything is interactive and, and then everything the whole point of the game is that you have a choice they give you a choice on what you want to do just like you just saw there I, I could save the fish or I could just leave it you know now who knows what type of impact that that will make on 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 the game but as you can see it has like the little right hand corner like my like, stability reading so I guess it's as a is analyzing like my my actions like the certain things. Obviously, what you guys notice here from the back of my jacket, this is obviously an Android. You can tell by the little LED light that's on the left, uh, right hand side of his uh, of his head there. So. We're in a crisis situation right now, as you guys can see. This woman is screaming because she realized that I'm an android. There's a crisis situation going on, and we're about to find out what that is. But, uh, I'm changing the brightness on here. It's a little dark. It's a little darker here than I want it, so I want to make sure that I brighten it up a little bit. I think the little zero percentage is fine okay perfect i, I want to make sure that you guys are able to see what's going on see that looks a lot better all right so we're about to go ahead and jump head first into this game guys i'm very excited because i love these type of games and it already as soon as i step through the door through the elevator it already uh kind of had that quantum feel quantum dream kind of feel to it it already shot down two all right, so obviously this android's name is Connor. There's a looks like there's a hostage situation going on. So as you can see, I get to ask different questions. So right now, every choice the game is all about. Every choice that you make, every decision that you make plays an impact on either wise the story or you as a character. Okay. Every second counts. All right, so I got to go ahead and start investigating. Immediately, I see a gun case down here at the bottom here. So, so again, everything kind of seems familiar. Uh, I mean, like even with doing this, kind of going and exploring. Uh, I really love Heavy Rain. I don't know if you guys have ever played that, but you guys, if you have not, go back and get it. I think. Uh, I think if you download Heavy Rain or something like that, or uh, I forgot, I forgot what they're offering here on the PlayStation Store. No, it's Beyond Two Souls. They're actually offering Beyond Two Souls for free for download. Um, if like you go to the PlayStation Store, which is awesome, that was an awesome game. But uh, I still Heavy Rain was still my favorite. Uh, Beyond Two Souls kind of expanded on what they did. In heavy rain but uh, I would say that Beyond Two Souls was a lot more action-packed in comparison so if you like action-packed games and uh, you know like quick time events definitely uh, Beyond Two Souls is for free on the PlayStation Store 
And if you haven't picked up Heavy Rain, I'm pretty sure that you can find it somewhere very cheap. Very cheap now, because it's been out for years. So right now what I'm doing, guys, is investigating the area, as you can clearly see. Um, I'm going around to different locations. I hold the R2 button and then the little, um, it, go, it goes into like kind of a, a gray kind of uh, scanning, scanning field or whatnot. And so you get to see what all you can interact with. So right now I'm just trying to gather as much clues as I can. Apparently, I'm this negotiator, and I'm here to uh, try to save the hostage's life. As you can see, the android is on the left, and that appears to be the uh, corporate here, the guy who's holding the hostage. All right, so we find out that the android's name is Daniel, so that's good. That's probably going to help us. All right, let's see what else we got. We got a couple of yellow things going on here. Everything is covered behind me, so. And like a lot of people might think that this is kind of tedious, but this game really has a has a lot of action um, to it as far as, uh, you know, like what's going on and, of course, like the interactivity of that. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that if it's like any of the other games, like Heavy Rain, I'm pretty excited, like Heavy Rain and, you know, like Beyond Two Souls. If it's anywhere near like that, and I'm pretty sure, like, Quantic Dream, each game that i played so far, I always expanded on each other. So if it's anything like those games, I'm pretty sure that this game is going to be awesome. So I'm expecting it to be a wild ride. Right now, it's a lot of gathering information and, then you know, playbacks. This is a new feature here. We ain't never seen this something like this before. Where you can kind of rewind and kind of analyze and see what happened. Father was holding something. Rewind to search for a new clue. So I think that's pretty cool. This is a new feature here. So it looks like the android found a gun and shot this man to death yeah so he's done he's dead for sure he dropped something here and uh, by the way this is experience mode which is the hardest mode so of course like you know guys like I always like to have a challenge so it's pretty cool I like how they implement the touchpad. Pretty cool. So the deviant was going to be replaced. So that's probably the reason why he's angry. They were getting ready to like replace the android. I guess the android kind of caught wind of it. Oh man, somebody just got shot. Alright, let's see what's going on. So the android has has taken down that man and killed a cop. All right. The family was about to have dinner. I don't know how that's going to help me, but it's okay. It's okay. It's cool. You have to pay attention to every detail. And for somebody who's very detail oriented, like I like to get all the details. This game is is a double-edged sword for me is it's a good and a bad thing for me because keep in mind that there's so many decisions that you can make here on this game and there's so many different outcomes so with me i want to be able to get the best outcome first and foremost get the best outcome and then also make sure i get all outcomes so i can you know like 
completely finish the game and get 100%. So with that, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like this. I got to go back through this game probably several times to get the maximum outcome. And of course, like, I want to go through it the first time getting the best outcome. So, whoo, man, that cop. Dallas, he got lit up. He, he caught him, though. He shot him. Okay, he dropped the gun. Cool. All right, 71% probability of success. So it's counting all the information and stuff that I'm gathering is adding to my success. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take that gun. Heck, yeah, I might need it. You can lock the dialogue or action, often beneficial. Okay, so we got four more little areas here. Let's see what we got. You can lock the dialogue. Fresh blue blood, Android. Okay, so that's Android blood. So, so he's able to analyze blood through his mouth, which is a bit nasty, but it's okay. <laughs> He's Android, so that's all that matters. Child size shoe, hostage could be wounded. 81%, 83% now, cool. I like those odds. Let's see what else we got here. Alright, so that's pretty much it. That's all the information, the intel that we've gathered here. As far as with that, he, he he's killed two people. He just shot another cop just a moment ago. Damn, then this fool just shot me. Don't come any closer or I'll jump. No, no, please, I'm begging you. Okay, so he has the girl as a hostage. trust I know you're angry Daniel I'm gonna try to play the good guy me. here guys so <laughs> I don't want your help. so I'm gonna don't try to do all the calm sympathetic type of stop. answers but look at the stop. visuals guys this is one of the main things that I always loved about quantic want? dreams uh, damn I'm about to tell I'm yes. about to tell the truth I have a gun drop it no sudden moves or I'll shoot. There. No more gun. They were going to replace you and you became upset. That's what happened, right? You thought I was part of the family. You thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! 97%. Okay, I I'm looking good right now, guys. But I was wrong. Look at the facial expressions, of guys. The like, the graphics have came a long way. I mean, the graphics on Quantic Dreams uh, games have always been amazing, like I was stating. Listen. I'm gonna be sympathetic. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted 99%, okay. I love them. All right, so you know, I'm probably going to succeed on that since I got 99% success them. rate here. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. The 
Trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. All right, so I got maximum you know, like rate percentage of success. And, and I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Self-sacrifice. Probably gonna die. Yeah, so I got shot. So I chose the self-sacrifice route. Software instability. Looked like it went down. Really? Well, I guess. I guess because I uh, got damaged. All right, guys. So uh, that was the exploding. This is the scenes flow chart. The exploding episode there. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths yet to be explored, and what possibilities you unlock. Each node earns you points that you can spend in extras. So the nature of the game, some nodes will be. Okay. So. Uh, Let's see if we can take a look here. All right, so this is kind of a, a options tree. This is all the paths that I have could have taken. As you can see, look at one, two, three, four, five. It looked like there's about five or six different uh, type of choices that I could have made. And so what I'm doing right now is showing you guys what happens if I change just the slightest thing, what the outcome will be. So I'm showing you again, I did everything the exact same way as far as gathering intel. I did everything the exact same way. I got to the very end and changed a few things and it changed the entire outcome. So there are bits and pieces of information that are crucial to the outcome. And there are a lot of things that doesn't really matter, you know. So. I still got all of the intel, so a lot of information that I didn't know I have. So gathering the little bits of information was important to know, but it was it wasn't necessary to the point where it was going to impact my outcome that much. As you can see, there's a succession, uh, you know, percentage. This time I'm a lie. I don't have a gun. You're lying. I know you have a gun. I'm telling you the truth, Daniel. I came here unarmed. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no. They were going to replace you. And you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with it. Listen. I'm gonna still go that sympathetic route. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. Man, 97% still, so that's good. Them. You know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. Man, that looks amazing, man. I love the facial expressions. I love they the, the, the graphics on this anymore. game. It's just amazing. Tell and then the, the voice acting get out as well. Here. It's amazing. Go ahead and get that helicopter out of here. There, I did what you wanted. I'm your last chance, Daniel. If you let it slip, they'll kill you. Let the hostage go. You have oh, no man. other choice. Oh, that dropped. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Ah! Execution style.
Yeah. Had to, had to do what's necessary, guys. Use that gun this time around. That was a different outcome. And look at that. My software instability went up as well. Cool. Yeah, like a badass. Yeah, like a, I think I'm going to uh, continue on with this route instead. Yeah. I like that choice better. So, again, it, it appears here that you can always go back and like redo the area so that's good so I did go back a different way I did choose a lot of the same options but made a few different choices and again there's about five or six different outcomes that you can attain so again you can always go back and replay it and then get the other outcome on the demo I actually did ended up getting all of them so it was crazy like you know there was a choice where both of you died both of you died, both both androids died. There was a situation where the sniper shot the android and it died. And there was a situation where he pulled the girl back and and both of them died. The girl and the android died. So there's so many different possibilities there. So and again, your actions plays a major impact on your story. You control the story, you tell it how you want to. So that's the whole purpose of the game. That's the whole purpose of Quantic Dreams games, period. I don't know what other games that they made, but these are the type of games that they make, giving you the choice to make changes to your story. Damn, there's some high-ass androids. What are you talking about? $8,000? $8,000? I guess. I guess. I mean, this is the future, man, so that's probably nothing. How much is that one over there? The NPA is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. I don't like this guy. There it is. It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Okay. Quantic Dream. Yeah. I'm excited, guys. Detroit, Android City. I'm excited, guys. Yeah, man. I, I mean, I love their games, man. I'm always a fan. Like, whenever I hear them announce that they're coming out with a game, I'm always paying attention. I'm always excited, man. I love their games. Y'all don't understand how excited I am. <laughs> so, can't wait to see the story. I, I I know that the voice acting is going to be intense. I know that the story is going to be intense. There's going to be a lot of a, a lot of sadness, a lot of joy, a whole range of emotions on this game. I just feel it. I just know it is. And since there's androids involved, I know that there's going to be a lot more action involved, a lot more that humans wouldn't be able to do. You know what I mean? So like they're going to be do it, be able to do a lot more type of, you know, like response type things or whatnot. So it's going to be pretty cool. I lost my job because of androids. <laughs> yeah, that's what they always say. Technology is going to. Put humanity out of jobs, but they always been saying that about people, so <laughs> so uh question question to you guys though. Do you do you guys ever think that we'll be able to build androids that act like humans like this? Like I know that we we've already done something similar to that. I know that we've we've kind of experimented and had 
kind of androids. I, I think I've seen like a while back that had a android that had uh, facial expressions and answered questions like, you know, like this woman or whatnot. But do you ever think that androids can be fully capable like this where they act and look specific, just like humans in every manner and like will eventually become self-aware? That's my question to you guys. Do you do, do you guys ever think that androids that will ever get to the point where androids might possibly become self-aware and and act just like humans? Do you think that androids would ever you know try to take over, you know, you know on some terminator type shit? <laughs> That's a question here to you guys, you know, you know, on some Skynet shit, you know, <laughs> you guys think that that's a possibility of ever happening with uh, many advances in technology. Um, me personally, I don't think that would ever happen. I'm not saying that we won't ever have androids. I think there's a strong possibility, especially since we're going and making huge leaps and advances in technology and like robotics. I think that, yes, we, we will have androids, but. For them to become self-aware and like you know acting as if they're human i don't i don't think that would ever happen like they'll you know like to the point where they'll become you know i guess have a conscience you know others would say like a soul i i just don't think that would ever happen you know hey. humans are are unique and i as as much as like we you know like we want to play God. I don't think that that's a possibility for us to create an artificial life form that will be exactly like us and 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 have life. So I don't know, but you know, like that kind of gets into like a controversial area. You know, if you believe in God and all this type of stuff. So <laughs> so a little religious type stuff, and I'm not I'm not a very religious person. So. <laughs> But anyway, um, I, I've seen this guy before. I, I know I've been kind of talking, but this guy looks so familiar. And I, I, I think this uh, is a model or something. Or some, uh, he played in something before. I'm, I'm looking at this guy's face. He looks very familiar. Obviously, he's an android. And I'm just kind of looking around at, at the beauty and nature of everything. It's, it's pretty amazing. As you guys saw earlier, I was kind of going through a magazine, kind of looking through. Press R2 to use GPS. Alright, so that's our GPS system there. It's guiding me that way. And as you guys saw, there was like a little red going towards the park area. So there's obviously invisible walls, places that I can't go to. So, what's this? Human music, one dollar to hear. Six AM is screaming. Back to this again. Do it with my music with soul. James and Carter. Okay, so I listen to him. They mind our children. They care for our old. Why do you look at me so, demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. We can no longer live without these. Okay. <laughs> so obviously there's some animosity going on right now. I should have known that there, you know, with stuff like this, like I can, I can see stuff like this actually happening. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like people just getting upset by technology kind of taking over. 
you know what I mean? Like ruining like human lives and things like that. So, you know, I can kind of see what's kind of going on here. There's, there's probably going to be like a lot of uh, hate, hate like towards androids. And then there's probably going to be like a lot of people that love them and treat them like family and all that type of stuff. And, and just use them as tools, you know, essentially what they are. So. Identification. Mm -hmm. Bellini paint, uh, paint, excuse me. Here is your order number 847. That will be 63.99. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Okay, so I just picked up some paint. See an artist or something? Or is he running an errand for somebody? R1 to switch the camera angle. Bellini paints. Let's see what happens when I go this way. Bus stop is not this way. Okay. So there's obviously invisible walls, but they use it as like kind of a firewall or something. I like how they do that though. It's pretty cool. I'm loving the colors, the graphics, man. Like this thing looks amazing. I'm playing this on the PS4 Pro guys. So, um, and then of course, like I do got a 4K TV as well. So this thing looks amazing right now on my screen. It looks amazing. Love it. Okay, so let's see where we're going. Just we'll be going to the bus, I guess. I guess we're done or heading out. Yo, that, but yo, for real, like that dude looks familiar, man. Uh, I don't know where I've seen him from. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? No kidding. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Hmm. Yep. So, uh, there's a lot of animosity towards these androids. Humans are so cruel. Humans are so cruel, man. One thing that's consistent is hate. Do it. Alright. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. The damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You gonna take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. Okay. They was about to beat my ass. But I'm pretty sure with him being an android that he can probably take him. If he really wanted to. Let's see what else. Hmm. What's that over there? Go around over here. Okay. What's the whole purpose of that? Millions out of work. Are we going to do something? Yeah. We want jobs. We want not more we want jobs. We want
Everybody else got those uh, same coats on. Those eyes, those eyes. It's like a greenish look to it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right. All right, Marcus took the bus here, okay. So, so we finished that, guys. Now we're gonna continue forward. All right, so this is Kara, X400. Hmm, interesting. Look, looks kind of like this guy um, lives in a bad area here. It looks all run down. Join Todd. You coming? I don't know about this guy, y'all. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. So there's a lot of stuff. So again, um, as I mentioned, a lot of uh, tedious stuff is about to go down here, especially on this video. She's doing a lot of uh, work here, house cleaning. Dishwasher not working. Missing components. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. Over here washing dishes. Yeah. TV on. Kara. Yes, Todd. Bring me a cold beer. Right away. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! I'll get back to work. Damn. Damn, dude. I bet he beats her. I saw it. I saw it says clean right there, but um, I don't know if that's going to just tick him off or what.
so they got they got main actual uh, missions here or, or main options here and then they got little side options as well so that's what I'm looking at here again hit the R2 it pulls up and scans the area and then you see what you have to do next go ahead and clean the counter okay take so the left appears to be my main objectives and then the, the right is my secondary so I'm gonna try to accomplish all my secondary tasks first and then go back to my main primary because that's what's gonna um, I guess continue on with the story surprised he didn't say anything like you're in my way all right so I got the trash take out the trash Am I going front door or back? Application rejection. Notices. Okay, so this guy's going through it, apparently. All right, took out trash. See what's out here. He got a he got a decent truck though. He got a decent truck. There's a bus. Is there nobody operating that thing? It must be like an automated bus or something. there take down laundry okay so I got some laundry to do here. All right, guys, we are nearing the end of this video. And of course, this is, again, the series premiere of Detroit Become Human. This is Cypher A that we're completing here today. Uh, once again, it's your boy Keys, a.k.a. Kira, a.k.a. God of the Game and World. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Of course to my facebook friends if i tag you please share and subscribe as well as always you guys be easy and of course peace peace see you on cypher beat